Uh, hey guys, we're the X here. So yeah, um, just here with a new deck profile. Uh, if most of you know, I traded my Ethics Buster and uh, Death Army Cosmolot built for a Spectre Duke Dragon deck. Um, I haven't posted this video yet because this deck isn't completed, in my opinion. But um, because I'm trading this deck away for another deck that I will tell you guys next time. Uh, yeah, so I decided to just do a video on it. So yeah, firstly, obviously, starter is the Vortima starter. Yeah. Uh, next for my deck, I play four Spectral Duke Dragons. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Spectral Duke Dragon is was I would say one of the strongest Go Paladin cards. Uh, now with the Liberators out, it isn't that great anymore, but still, it is a viable choice. Um, Spectral Duke Dragon has always been good at pressurizing the opponent. So yeah, this build is um this build is slightly different. It's a more offensive sort of build because I got it this way. So I decided to build on on this um, interesting um aspect. So yeah, play for Spectral Duke Dragons. Next I play four of the Break Rides Gensalot. So yeah, Gensalot is a really good break ride. It provides um it provides quite a lot of advantage and if you happen to ride like you know Gensalot over Gensalot it still wouldn't matter because it's still quite um I mean if you do have the feel for it it's not really that bad of a choice so yeah against lots good not not bad. Now in this day I can't run the the other one because I think it's a lack of corner blast. I, I believe that card needs corner blast so yeah. Next of course will be four of the right chain, great two. Okay, this is the special and interesting card of the deck. So there will be four Blaster Dark Spirits and four Blaster Blade Spirits. So this is a very key offensive card in this deck. Um, considering that this deck doesn't run many um, superior colors, uh, these card skills might have, you know, might be limited. To the the skills might be limited to use because um, considering the fact that I don't play Vivians or any uh, other, I do play an additional uh, another one of a uh, superior color, but I'll get to that later in the great ones. So yeah, these guys when they do come out because it's just counter blast, but it's almost a you know on on use ability. So the moment I do have to, the moment I do come out with these cards on my superior calls because of the right chain of the uh, Spectre Duke I most of the time will use his skill but um, other than that I choose to play him because he's a 10k so yeah 10k's are good and so yeah I play 6 10k's in a way if this guy's um, effect doesn't go off so yeah uh, so yeah 3 of each spirit but to me the blaster that one looks cooler. Okay, moving on to the Great Ones, I play for the Great One Vortima. Yep. If right chain you must play four. If not, you know this right chain is pretty unique, so it it's good to get the right chain off. Uh next would be four negates. Mm-hmm. So all the generic stuff, it's pretty much the same, other than most of you guys will probably play Din Drains or something. So yeah, I have another 4 8Ks. So this build, as you can see, is really offensive. And lastly, the special card that I was talking about, Knight of Black Chains uh, Kahidian, I think that's how I pronounce his name. So um, yeah, this guy, he basically is a pressure riser. Put him behind anything, uh, tech hits, can color blast one, discard a unit, and superior core and lead card for a deck. So, I'm uh, superior core, the top card of a deck. So, yeah, this guy it helps to add in a more um, pressurizing uh, opponent to your game. So, usually, I put him behind the Vanguard so that they purposely, you know, try to guard and they uh, cough up 15 to 20k shields just to guard him because, you know, they. I might get a chance to get a Blaster Blade Spirit and they have a pretty valuable rearguard so you know why not just play this guy to pressure your opponent so yeah 3 of him so yeah lastly would be the triggers uh, this is the main reason why I haven't built haven't done this deck profile yet because of the triggers 
So for triggers, I play eight crits. Uh, two, four, and eight. So the the reason I have with not posting it up is because I couldn't get my hands on these guys. Um, yeah, uh, Flame of Victory. These guys are really good for Spectral Duke deck. Call two onto the field, put both into the soul. Spectral Duke gets plus six k, and yeah, like that, it costs out one additional shield for your opponent. So I wanted to play for, but I couldn't find it. So yeah, I can't. It's kind of regrettable that I they haven't been able to manage with this deck. Managed to use this in my this deck. So yeah. Uh, moving on would be the four draws. The draws are also another reason I wanted to get the other card. The um. The I think Azure some it's some card that it has the same scale as um Flame of Victory, the exact same skill. So yeah, and uh, lastly will be for heals. So uh yeah, so that's basically it for my deck profile. I'll be trading this away for a deck which I shall keep secret for a while in case any of my friends are watching this. Um yeah, so other than that I hope that this build helps you look at special deal in a different way. Um, yeah, so feel free, feel free to comment or you know like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just you know, yeah, PM me or something. Thank you for watching. Bye.